Hello, how to solve this problem? 3 raised to the power x plus x equals to 30. Here, let's take x to this side. Then we have 3 raised to the power x equals to 30 minus x. Plus x become minus there. Then, from here, let's divide both sides by 3 raised to the power x. We have divided by 3 raised to the power x on this side. Then, divide by 3 raised to the power x. On this side, then when 3 raised to power x cancel each other here, we have 1. Then we can rewrite this side by writing 3 raised to power x that is 1 over 3 raised to power x. You can write it again from the law of indices. We have 1 over a raised to power m, it can be written as a raised to power minus m. Then from there, that means this side can be written as 30 minus x. Then multiply by 3 raised to the power minus x instead of 1 over 3 raised to the power x. Then equals to this side has become 1. Then from here, we have minus x at, the, at this power. Let's try to make the power here to be 30 minus x. That means we have to multiply by 3 raised to the power 30 on this side. Then we have 30 minus x then multiply by 3 raised to the power minus x then 3 raised to the power 30 then since we multiply by 3 raised to the power 30 on this side we should also multiply by 3 raised to the power 30 on this side too so as to balance that's 1 times 3 raised to the power 30 so that to balance the equation then from there we can write this again from the law of indices we are multiplying with same base then we can add the power and this will be written as 30 minus x, then multiply by 3 raised to the power 30 minus x, then equals to, this is 3 raised to the power 30. And from there, we can write this 3 in another way. 3 can be expressed as exponent Lean 3. This is same thing as 3. From what we have, that exponent lean a is equals to a. So here, instead of writing 3 here, we can introduce exponent lean 3. Then this equation will become 30 minus x, then multiply by exponent. Then 3, then times what we have there in the power before, that is 30 minus x, then equals to 3 raised to the power 30 a. Then from here, we have 3 is up here. Let's try to multiply both sides by lean 3 so as to make this power to look like the coefficient here so that we can use the w function that states that the w function of a exponent a is equal to a that's w lambert function once we have made the power to look like the coefficient then we can apply the w lambert function so let's multiply through by ln3 and uh, on this side we multiply by ln3 it becomes 30 minus x times ln3 then this becomes exponent let's rewrite this as 30 minus x ln3 same thing with what we have then equals to multiply this side by ln3 as well then this will become 3 raised to the power 30 times ln3. Then from here, we have the power same as the coefficient. Then we can apply the W Lambert function here. Then we have W function on this side of 30 minus x. Then ln3 ln exponent 30 minus x ln3. Then on this side as well, we apply the W function. Then 
into bracket 3 raised to the power 30, then ln 3. Then, since uh, w function of a, exponent a is a, then here, this will reduce to 30 minus x ln 3 equals to w function of 30 3 raised to power 30. Let's separate it as 3 raised to power 3 times ln 3 times 3 raised to power 27. Now we break we break in 3 raised to power 30. So 3 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power 27. When we add this together, we have 3 raised to power 30. Then from here, let's work with the right hand side to apply this and make it similar as well. Here we can write it as W 3 raised to the power 3 is same thing as 27. That's 27 ln 3 times 3 raised to the power 27. And from here, we can express 3 here as well as exponent ln 3. That is, we can write it as exponent ln 3. The same thing as 3. Now, from here, when we do that, we have W 27 ln 3, then multiply by exponent ln 3, then multiply by 27, raised to power 27. Then we have on this side, W Lambert function, we have the power here now is same thing as the coefficient because it's same thing as 27 in 3 and this 27 in 3. Then this can simply be written as 27 ln 3. And then we equate it to the right hand side, which is 30 minus x ln 3. Here, yeah, ln 3 can cancel each other. And when we have that, what is left now is 30 minus x equals to 27. We can easily solve for x here. Let's take negative x there and take 27 here. So, same thing as x equals to 30 minus 27. And here, x is equals to 3. This is the value of x from this problem. Thank you for watching. Also, subscribe to this channel and uh, turn the notification bell on. You can also share this video. Thank you and bye for now.